So there's a delightful article in The Ringer right now about Ricky Rubio. Rubio talks to Paolo Ugetti about all sorts of things, from what it was like to win MVP of the FIBA World Cup last month to the time he once went down to the lumber store to try to build a nightstand from scratch <laughs> off a design he found while browsing Pinterest, which is amazing. Cool time. <laughs> but as I was reading the story, I couldn't help thinking of how Rubio's Spanish team came into the World Cup, thinking they could best a field that was heavily favored toward the Americans and the Serbians and even the French. And it made me wonder how many NBA teams are coming into this season the same way. Think about it. For the past five years, we've only had two or three teams who, if you gave them true serum, would tell you they thought they could really win the title. Now? I mean, my God, I think we have a hundred of them, right? Well, okay, May maybe not the Cavaliers, who <laughs> lost to the Celtics by 40 oh earlier God. this week, and then again by more than 20 last night. Despite that Boston had left nine, nine of Man, its rotational players crazy. back at home. I'm not even sure how that's mathematically possible, so no. I'm not talking about Cleveland in this contenders group or Charlotte or Washington or any of the teams who are selling their fans on this being a rebuilding season. But if you do start rattling off teams who think that they're title ready, the list gets pretty long. The Clippers and Lakers, the Bucks and Sixers, the Rockets, the Jazz, the Nuggets, the Warriors, the Blazers, even the Raptors, who are aware they don't have Kawhi Leonard anymore, but do believe in their experienced, balanced group in the weaker Eastern Conference and their team president, known for his assets and his <laughs> cheap trade fingers. Of course, not every team that thinks it's in the title contender group truly should be, which leads to the question I wanted to ask today. Where's the actual cutoff for this seemingly massive clot that we have right now? Who is the Team Spain of the NBA this season? Who is the team where if odds maker darlings like LA or Philly or Milwaukee, if they fall, who do we think could legit rely on chemistry and candiness, some outsized step it up performances to go win the whole thing? Basically, which team is the worst best contender? Mm. The last in of the group that you'd actually put money down on to be holding the Larry O'Brien trophy in June. It's not as easy in a question as it might seem. And after such an eventful summer, it seems Ricky Rubio at least is okay with his new Phoenix Suns team not being part of that discussion. He has bedroom furniture to go build. <laughs> and besides, he's already pulled off the unexpected for this year. <coughs> now it's someone else's turn. And the question is, who? So Kendrick, let's start there. Mm. I don't know how many teams you think have a realistic chance of winning the title this season, but then I want to know sort of who's the last person you put your money on of that group. Okay, so like realistically, you look at the Clippers, the Lakers, the Rockets, those three pretty clear cut, right? And then you go in the East, you look at Milwaukee and Philly, right? Mm -hmm. So you have that five. But then I look at Utah. Mm -hmm. That's my team. That's my dark horse team. All right. And the reason being is because they're well coached. Um, it's hard to win in Utah. They have the defensive player of the year, Rudy Gobert, who's arguably top five centers in the league. Um, I love the additions of the offseason the off additions in Jeff Green, Mike Conley, uh, Bogdanovich, uh, Ed Davis. You know, you had those guys. I'm a big fan of Royce O'Neal as a young special talent. And then last but not least, you look at Donovan Mitchell, um, who I think is going to have a great year this year and it's hard to win in Utah. Utah is deep. They have all the pieces that they need for his defensive presence, shooting, point guard position, whatever they, whatever you need out of them, they have it. So I wouldn't be surprised. They're my sleeper pick to if they was to happen to win the NBA title. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.